Hi friends, I've had quite a few questions about the sawmill video we posted a while back. We've got some more plans in mind for the future that we're working on right now that we're going to make some more videos about the sawmill. But for today I figured that I'd take you on a little tour of how the mill works and what we've done to it so far. Stay tuned. I just arrived here at the mill. Looks like he's moving some boards that he sawed earlier. But we'll go down here to the mill, have a look around and see sort of the ins and outs of how things are working. Okay, of course, here's the Detroit 371 that powers the unit to engage and disengage the clutch. Here's the belts that go down, power the PTO for it. We've got it run through this little chase here to keep anybody from getting caught up in it. Comes over and comes up and of course powers the blade and the hydraulic pump. If we look down in here I'll see if I can get a good angle on it. You can see the white PVC pipes that's part of the dust extraction along with the boards here to keep the sawdust going straight down to where it gets thrown out by the blower. It's got a, I think a 36 inch blade. There's room to go a little bigger, but that's what it had on it and that's what we've been using so far. Let me step around to the other side of the mill and talk about how it was when we found it. So like in the first video, it was a PTO tractor that went on the three-point hitch of a tractor and was powered off of a PTO on this side that went around, but we switched it over to work from the other side. This is just our dust collection blower. On the carriage. Here's the carriage to move the carriage in and out and make your boards thicker or thinner. Still, I'll step back around to the other side of the mill again so that we can see a little better. Here's how the dog system works, similar to how a bell sow's dog system works. Here's a carriage for the logs that we made. Just set the logs up here with a track hoe or a tractor. We got extension boards that come out. Make it easy to roll the logs over. This is our winch system. Helps us turn some bigger logs. Might come up with something different in the future, but this is working for now. Going back to the power unit, we got some long belts run through our homemade belt tensioner here. They go up to the edger. It's a two blade edger, one fixed, one movable. This of course moves the, the movable blade. This moves the rack. You can either push it out of the way to edge both sides or pull it all the way down to keep a straight edge. guys that's about all i've got for you today like i say we're going to be making some more videos very soon we've been trying to get some new equipment some new cameras this that and the other i this technology stuff you know it's not necessarily my forte but we're we're going to give it a shot hope you guys have enjoyed stay tuned